Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Sturge here and today we're back on the Channel 10 and today I'm going to be showing you the upgrade guide that you can use on your Channel 10. I have a complete max Channel 10 as you see here, the suggested upgrades is just the Town Hall at 6.5 million gold. We're going to actually be doing that pretty soon here on the channel going to Channel 11 as I have had this Channel 10 which is completely maxed for around 5 months now since I did max it out on my Channel 10 Let's Play. And make sure you go check that out if you do want to see a Channel 10 Let's Play. I did this a while back around like six seven months ago and I never did a proper upgrade guide so why not do it before we head over to town 11 why don't we actually head over to our progress space that I have created for this video that you can also use by clicking the link in the description to use this exact base that I show inside of this video here we have five different sections of the base towards the bottom right and the storages are on the top left because you obviously can't upgrade those until Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12. That's why those are on that side of the base. So you have five sections. The most important upgrades are these five buildings here. I'll talk about those later on in the video. We have the army buildings down at the very bottom, the collectors over here, the traps, and the defenses at the very top of the base. I'll go over all five sections of the base, telling you what to do and how to tackle every single one, and also how many builders to use for every single section of the base. Starting obviously with the most important upgrade, which is these five buildings here, the laboratory, the clan castle, the spell factory, and both of the king and the queen as you want to get those maxed out as soon as possible so you can be in war if you are a fan of doing clan war or clan war leagues the other three buildings are the most important upgrades to actually complete at the beginning of every single town hall level and we'll actually start off with the laboratory here you obviously want to upgrade those so you can get some new troops inside of your lab and you actually want to get this completed first because i actually had to gem a bunch of troops and spells at the end of my let's play because i had so many upgrades left to do towards the end as we only had the laboratory and a few traps left to upgrade the clan castle is always good to upgrade as you get more troops inside of your clan castle and i think you also unlock the siege machines that you can get at Tunnel 10, which is pretty good. So making sure to upgrade that clan castle gives you a lot of attacking boost for your farming raids if you are able to get the siege machines. And the final building is the spell factory. Upgrading that is also a very big priority as you get an extra capacity for your spells. So you can hold an extra two, I'm pretty sure. Not too sure, but you get an extra two, I'm guessing, for the spell factory upgrade. And those are the five upgrades to do at the beginning of every single town hall level, including Tunnel 10. We're going to head on to the army uh, buildings down at the very bottom here. We don't have too many of these because we have the camps, the barracks, the dark barracks, and the dark spell factory. You want to upgrade these from top to bottom. So starting with the army camps and then heading over to the barracks, the dark barracks, and ending off with the dark spell factory. Unless you are a fan of the bat spell, I have never really used it. So I don't really see a point of actually getting that until probably the later town hall levels. But you obviously want to upgrade every single thing. So upgrading the dark spell factory last isn't that bad of a deal. On to our resource buildings which are the collectors. We obviously can't upgrade these storages like I said at the beginning of the video. So all you really have to upgrade for loot buildings is the collectors, the drills, the gold mines, and the elixir collectors. You want to start from left to right for these upgrades as dark elixir is a very big priority for channel 10 as you have a ton of dark elixir upgrades for the laboratory as well as the heroes. The elixir collectors is also a very big priority for this portion of the base as the elixir troops to upgrade them inside of the lab is also a big priority there. So upgrading the elixir collectors is also a good idea and leaving the gold mines for last is just a preference of mine because I usually upgrade my defenses last as I want to upgrade the walls, the heroes, and the troops before so I'm not wasting a bunch of gold by maxing out all of my defenses first before maxing out anything else. This next section of the base isn't really that important in my opinion unless you are a fan of being inside of clan wars or clan war leagues. You want to upgrade this section from left to right starting with the seeking air mines as uh, air attacks is very very popular for tunnel 10 especially those dragon attacks you'll see a lot of those when you are uh, farming at Town Hall 10. So upgrading the air targeting traps first is a very good idea to do, especially those seeking air mines. The giant bombs is also good because hybrid is also a very good attack strategy to use at Town Hall 10, as well as those spring traps and the bombs isn't really that important for really any Town Hall level. The left to right is the best way to upgrade the traps. And the final section of the base here is the defenses, starting from left to right as usual. 
starting with the Inferno Towers, as you want to max these out, as there's two levels once you actually unlock them on your base. Getting these to max level first will allow you to defend more loot on defense, and it is the signature defense for Tunnel 10, so it is just a cool thing to have on your base. And then heading on to the Expos, the Air Defense, and the Wizard Towers. Those are for the Air Attacks, so you'll see a bunch at Tunnel 10. The Tesla and the Arch Tower is also for the Air Attacks, defending those. The Cannons, Mortars, Bomb Towers, and Air Sweepers aren't really that important, as the Air Sweepers don't really do too much for air attacks, and air attacks really just overpower any other ground attack that you see at Tunnel 10. So those are the five sections of the base that I showed you. We still have one more section that I didn't actually talk about, which is the walls. We'll talk about these here. The walls are the most tedious thing to upgrade at any tunnel level, and Tunnel 10 is honestly not too bad because it is only a million per wall, and there's 275 walls total for Tunnel 10, which means it is 275 million loot to actually upgrade every single wall up to level 11. So upgrading the walls is just a thing you have to do periodically throughout the uh, progression through Tunnel 10. I actually maxed out the walls pretty early on my Let's Play, and I have some farming attack strategy that you should actually check out on my channel that I show off for Tunnel 10 that worked pretty well if you are wanting to max out your walls or really anything on your Tunnel 10. And that is basically it for the upgraded guide. Before we end off here, I actually want to mention what kind of builders you want to set for every single section. There is five sections, so you could honestly use one per section, but with the most important upgrades only being five buildings, it won't be that long until you only have two, which is the king and the queen. So once you upgrade the first three important upgrades, you can really start to expand on upgrading other stuff around the base. I'd really recommend upgrading your camps to max as fast as possible, so keeping up to two builders on the camps until they are all max and maybe even the barracks to get those miners because those are very good for farming at tunnel 10. The collectors you can honestly save until the end because there isn't really that big of a difference for upgrading them up to their next level. All really depends on how much you play the game. So leaving one builder for these guys isn't really that big of a deal or you can even save them for the final thing that you need to upgrade on your base. Other than traps because traps don't really need to be upgraded unless you are wanting to be inside of clan war leagues. The defensive you at least want to have one builder working on one defense at a time because you don't want to max out your defenses too quickly because you won't have that much upgrades involving gold to use on the rest of your base. And the final thing we're going to talk about today is the heroes. You want to have these two running at all times, so having two builders on these is a very big priority because it is only 10 levels, so you could really just continue to grind out the heroes until they are both maxed out. So having two on the heroes, two on the army portion of the base, and one on the defenses will allow you to max out your base as quickly as possible. But that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you did want to see some more Tunnel 10 or any Tunnel 11 content because I'll have that soon here on the channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.